Hey guys and what is up and welcome to today's video and today we're going to go ahead and talk about the 150cc swap in the 2020 Apollo RFZ. Was it worth it? Let's find out. So here we have a YTX 150cc swap. Uh, this is a pretty easy swap into the Apollo RFZ and a lot of you guys are going to ask is it worth it and we're just going to get that right out of the way and uh, I'm going to say yeah it's totally worth it. You get an extra 33% horsepower out of this engine and uh, you can really notice the torque when you're up into the higher gears. And uh, as you guys may be able to see, I do have the larger wheel set on this bike. Uh, so having the larger wheel set put on and then adding the extra power was definitely noticeable and uh, really key to keeping this bike peppy and brappy up on the trails. The swap itself is relatively easy and we have an entire video covering that. If you guys want to go ahead and click up in the corner, I got an entire video uh, covering, documenting and showing you guys how to do a 150cc swap into one of your bikes. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, you can do so. Uh, but this swap is an absolute banger upgrade and uh, if you blow your 125cc engine there's absolutely no reason not to go with one of these 150ccs. It was about 50 bucks more to buy this 150cc than it was to buy another 125cc engine. Uh, so it's an absolute no brainer. There's gonna be two simple mods that you need to do for this bike to be able to fit into your bike. Um, and you're gonna need a custom Kickstarter. So you're just gonna need to find one with a 16 millimeter spline. Uh, and that way you can have a Kickstarter slide onto the engine, uh, as well as you're gonna need a 150cc clutch cable. Uh, it's just got a slightly different uh, ending down here where the clutch handle grabs onto it. Uh, but the review of the engine is this thing is an absolute beast of a unit and uh, I recommend doing this engine swap into any of your guys' bikes. It's affordable, uh, you get performance and if you are someone who's riding trails there is two mounts here so you can go ahead and you can add on an oil cooler onto your bike to keep it running nice and cool on the trails if that's something that's important to you or maybe you're out racing it on the track and you want to keep your engine cool. Uh, this does let you run an optional oil cooler which is a bonus now unfortunately with the 150 cc swap it is still only a four speed like the 125 cc and if you do want the extra fifth gear uh, you have to do the 190 cc swap now the 190 cc swap does involve uh, quite a few different things of swapping out i i, I remember I'm pretty sure you need to swap out your CDI box, you're gonna need different spark plug, you need different carburetor, different intake, different Kickstarter, uh, a different exhaust system. So there's a couple different few pieces you're gonna need if you're gonna to wanna to do one of the 190cc swaps. So that was one of the main reasons I did end up going with the 150cc swap was just for the easeability of swapping this engine in. Uh, as I knew it only was gonna take a couple slight minor modifications and other than that, this is a complete bolt up affair uh, and that it requires no modification to any of the electrical harness, all that stuff is plug and play. Um, but really the power is a big bonus. You do notice that uh, when you're up into third and fourth gear and you go to roll on the throttle, it's just there and there's that snap to punch you and toss you down the trails, which is super appreciative. Uh, as well as the carburetor is, is just a bolt-on affair. So this is a, a genuine VM24 Makuni carburetor. And this is the exact same carburetor I did run on my 125cc engine. Uh, I just had to do some simple tuning modifications, which is just adjusting the fuel screw uh, and adjusting the clip position. Now, if you guys are interested in learning how to dial in your carb uh, and tune it so you can get the most performance out of your bike, there will be a video up here in the corner, up in a card. You guys can click that and that's a video covering uh, completely on how to remove, tune, and assemble your carburetor. So if that's something you want to check out, go ahead and click that video up above. It is nice about this engine is that you do get to use the stock exhaust. So this is the complete stock 125cc exhaust, uh, as well as it takes the original 125cc engine motor mounts. So the motor mounts are the same, the exhaust is the same, my carburetor is the same, spark plugs the same, spark plug tube, your CDI injection box, all that stays the same and it's a really easy bolt-in swap that I would recommend to any of you guys do to your dirt bikes for some extra pep in your step. Another nice thing about this 150cc swap is it does still clear uh, the larger wheel set up front and in the rear um, so you can still house the 17 inch front tire and not worry about hitting the front of the engine casing with a tire which is a bonus. That was something I was concerned about when I was doing this engine swap is whether or not I was going to be able to clear my big wheel set uh, with this engine swap. But uh, no, this engine swap has been great. It's awesome. And another nice thing I will say about it is that the transmission itself feels really stout and secure when you're shifting gears. Uh, I had an issue in my 125cc engine uh, where it was actually getting jammed in gear. So you'd go to shift and it was staying stuck in first, second or third or fourth gear. It'd stay stuck in gear and you'd have to actually open the casing go inside the engine and get it unbound. So one of the star wheels uh, and one of the linkages were getting bound 
when it was trying to shift and it was getting stuck in gear and then it ended up uh, shifting into like an infinite neutral. So I don't know, none of my gears work in my 125 CC engine. And uh, so that's what happened is I ended up having to tow that bike out of the trail. Uh, and then as soon as I got home, I tore it apart, pretty much noticed that this was going to be the best bet. It was $600 for an engine and I was able to swap it in here in my own garage. So there was no labor fees or paying anyone to do any of the work on this. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to see how to do that, or if you guys have any questions about the engine swap, you guys can feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. Uh, I will gladly help you guys out with any comments or questions you may have on doing the swap. It's relatively easy. Uh, you can use the same motor oil that you're using before, you know, about a liter of some four, uh, four stroke motorcycle engine oil will do the trick. Uh, you can use the same carb filter, all that. You wanna make sure you're using the VM24 size carburetor and not the 22, it's a little bit too small. You can get away with the VM26 carburetor on these and those work fine as well. Uh, it's just once again, whatever carburetor you do put on these bikes, you're definitely gonna have to tune it in. Now, if you're interested in learning on how to make your dirt bike faster without doing an engine swap, I'm gonna leave a video card right up here in the corner that you guys should definitely click and it's how to do a gearing change on your dirt bike and it's gonna give you more top speed or more acceleration out of your dirt bike. So if you guys wanna make your dirt bike faster without an engine swap, you guys should definitely click that video up in the top corner. And if you guys wanna learn another way, uh, there's 10 different mods I have in a video showing you guys how to make your dirt bike faster and you faster as a rider. That will also be up in the corner here for you guys to play and you guys can check that video as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so much make sure you guys click subscribe right now and join the squad that's a huge supporter for the channel and you guys are gonna get some awesome content out of it make sure you guys click that like button leave any comments or questions down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out